<laughs> so our group did um, Kai Beauty. That's our group name. Um, I'm Anthony. Uh, so Kadi Beauty is a Korean skincare brand. Um, it was introduced in 2020. Um, it's a huge representative for Kate Beauty right now. Um, and it's appeared in a lot of uh, K-dramas like Extraordinary Attorney Woo and Business Proposal. Um, and it has about a net worth of $1 million so far. Our brand objective is to expand our online presence in the United States. They are currently present on Instagram, but they lack in posting daily and interacting with their followers. So we believe that expanding to the United States will help strengthen that. So in order to do this, we will be recruiting um, American social media marketing experts. And we also want to get them on TikTok. Right now their owner has a personal TikTok, but they call he doesn't have an actual TikTok account. So we want to start with that posting regularly. Alrighty, so within the process, we would need um, contribution from our Korea team and then also their US um, team that they will put together. And it's an all hands on deck kind of situation. And then we will also need um, some of our current loyal customers to help us get the word out there and get spread our um, posts that we put out. And then the overall goal is to be. Um, just to expand the traffic on social media in the U.S. And within doing that, we will be making posts on Instagram and TikTok, targeting our target market, which is from 18 to 40, because the products are anti-aging. And then we will have specific deadlines that we will be hitting throughout um, our year where we want to um, finish our foot traffic in the U.S by December 2023, and we'll talk more about that later. So the headquarters, content creation, and planning will <coughs> take place in Los Angeles, California. So once we come up with our marketing team and they plan a strategy for social media and start posting, we'll be looking back on old posts to prepare for the future. Um, it's important for us to gain conversions from the United States and develop greater brand awareness. Right now, their Instagram is what performs best for them, and we think that TikTok is really good for spreading the brand awareness. So some things we plan on measuring is engagement, so comments, likes, and views on social media for the U.S. account that we are creating, and then we're going to establish an SEO presence and then we're also going to measure conversions so our American sales versus our Korean sales and seeing if the sales have increased due to our new social media presence on all the new platforms and then we're measuring impressions so we're trying to figure out like are the American customers seeing the new social media content because of course that's important and then we're going to compare so we're looking at the reach of our U.S. social media versus our Korean social media and then seeing if we even have the U.S. customers because that's also important. And then demographics are important as well. Um, is Kaya Beauty's content even reaching the U.S. target market? So for actionable, so we want to expand our market over to the U.S. Um, due to like prior trends with K-beauty, K-pop, all of that. Um, Kai has a small market, uh, but I think putting an English-based social media will help um, better market those and then creating a TikTok like we said earlier. And hopefully by doing this, we'll um, drive conversions and sales and then brand awareness. Um, so we're going to create a U.S. social media team after we create a U.S. office, and creating a U.S. office will also help um, avoid foreign fees from Korea shipping over here. Um, we're going to use Korean, in, um, like how Korea has the Korean influencers and K-dramas to promote, we'll use U.S. influencers and U.S. movies, kind of like Netflix originals, because it's cheaper to market that way, uh, and then creating U.S. and English social media accounts to better cater for our U.S. market. So since we set our plan, we wanted it to all be done in like one calendar year. 
we kind of divvied up like a ton of tasks and everything uh, to each month of like the following year. So for January, we had to pick out locations for headquarters in the United States. Um, to be done by February, we had purchased lots of land and beginning to build headquarters. Um, in March, we had to interview and hire new English speaking employees because most of the employees for the company now presumably are not speaking English. Um, in April, we had set up social media teams to create and monitor new accounts. As we mentioned, uh, like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. Uh, in May, we had to create content and schedule content for Instagram and TikTok. Uh, for June, we had to create an English website with a digital marketing team because, like you said, they don't have a English website set up currently. So then to <coughs> keep going for the second half of the year, in July, we had hire and train warehouse workers to ship and organize inventory so that people um, <clears throat> in the states are able to get their product easily. In September, we had established a budget for uh, all marketing tax tasks in the future. For August, we had hire and schedule influencers from America to push new products as uh, we got done saying because all of the influencers that are currently used are in Korea and that would obviously be a language barrier issue. For October, we had whole employee focus groups to hear what's working and what isn't because uh, from January to August, there's a lot of stuff that's being done and it's important that the employees give their input on what they're seeing. Uh, for November, we had track American sales versus previous Korean sales just to see how the companies are doing, doing against each other. And in December, at the end of the year, we said that we should set up an audit with our English social media platforms. And then we put together um, some visuals for the social media. So this would be the new um, Instagram US official Inst Instagram. And then within that Instagram page, we will put the new products and get tutorials on what they're made of and like how to use them. And then we will put influencer collaborations, promotions, and just general content. And then this is their TikTok. And on TikTok, we will do the skincare routines. Um, we will ask um, like our current employees or like our customers to send in like how they use their products. And we'll put some on there. And then just like behind the scenes of making the products. And then this will just be the US website. Um, we would like to add a rewards to get more foot traffic and then also have customers sign up for a newsletter so they can get what we're putting out as soon as we send it out right to their phones or email. So by obtaining the goal of a US market and expanding this brand, we expect to see customer engagement and revenue, brand awareness, and more foot traffic. Thank you. Thanks. Any questions, comments?